What's up, everybody? Caleb Wagner, a.k.a. Wags My Tag, coming back strong inside your eye. And I'm talking about a video that I previously made. I caught a lot of hate for it. Talking about how John Jones is not the greatest of all time. And I just want to go ahead and say that I'm reiterating that exact statement throughout the entirety of this video. Because if you haven't heard, recently John Jones enters a rehab. That's right, he just entered a drug clinic for a cocaine addiction problem. Oh my god! If ever I called it before I even knew the facts, this guy is the biggest jokester of all time. He's talking about taking cocaine, and if you're going to a clinic for cocaine, that doesn't mean you're just doing cocaine. That means that that is one of the things that you're doing. This guy was doing multiple drugs while competing, and they can say he was just celebrating and after his big win he decided to do a couple lines that's absolute bullcrap I guarantee this guy was doing coke before the fight are you kidding me the way that this guy was speaking he's not macho man Randy Savage everything he was trying to say was so like overly profound he was trying to sound like Goku but guess what Goku doesn't do coke in his offseason it's absolutely ridiculous that he ends up beating Daniel Cormier and Daniel Cormier fought a like clean fight he's a wrestler he's all about that it's pride about doing your thing evenly it's all fair literally you got John Jones going over here he's like snorting lines of coke and then breaking boards over here like his energy that he calls upon is not even from himself it's from a freaking chemical made in the woods it's absolutely a jokester thing to do you know he won fights without this but now he's trying to become the greatest of all time and he starts like doing coke and I guarantee if he's going to a clinic for an addiction problem it's not him that has decided this he literally was found out he was trying to keep it a secret and he ends up having to say that he's admitting himself to a clinic I don't believe that for one second then you look at it from a higher perspective guess what Dana White is the biggest douchebag in the entire universe at currently because he is congratulating John Jones on like going and admitting himself and you know facing his demons and good for him you know I don't support it but good for him literally he only cares about him because he sells box office that's ridiculous I got my boy over here like Matthew Riddle he was kicked out of the UFC for smoking pot that's right a non-violent a, a, a drug that is literally not even in the same spectrum as alcohol he ends up getting kicked out of the UFC for that and then John Jones the biggest athlete in the sport, all eyes on him. He does cocaine and then gets to stay. It's the biggest joke of all time. He cannot be the greatest of all time because it's tainted. It was tainted before he did this. That's all I'm saying. Like He cannot be the greatest of all time. GSP did not get caught doing cocaine because guess what? He was too enamored on fighting and becoming the greatest. That's what it means to be the greatest. Striving for excellence. Like, you could go to any person that takes steroids, like, you could give someone steroids, give them, like, horse horse steroids, give, make them superhuman, and guess what, John Jones is not the baddest man in the universe, in the octagon. You know, you can give somebody performance-enhancing drugs, and they're going to be able to dominate him. It doesn't matter how tall he is, how bad he is, if you give somebody PCP, they're going to go rip his face off, like, that's just what's going to happen. This guy was doing coke. This guy was taking advantage of it. This guy is an absolute joke. And I'm the person saying it. They should have stripped him from his title, kicked him out of the UFC. Because if Matthew Riddle, I don't care if he's no name, big name, any name. Literally, Matthew Riddle was kicked out of the UFC for testing positive for weed. And literally, our biggest star does cocaine. Zero consequences. Can't wait till he comes back. He's going to be even better. Screw that. Dana White's a joke. The UFC's a joke. John Jones is a joke. Matthew Riddle deserves to be the champion right now. I don't even care if he's not good enough to be. He deserves it more than John Jones. Literally, Matthew Riddle deserves to come back. They should not test anybody for drugs ever again, especially if they're going to let it slide with John Jones. I swear, literally, if this argument ever comes up, John Jones has ruined the sport, basically. Because if he gets zero consequences, Consequences. If he gets zero consequences, everybody else in the entire sport should receive zero consequences. This is an absolute joke. UFC is being a joke. You know, shouts out to Matthew Riddle. I feel for him along with uh, the Diaz. Uh, it's absolutely ridiculous that they would do this junk all because John Jones sells box office and people think that he's the baddest in the universe. It's an absolute joke. 
Uh, Daniel Cormier, again, like, you won that fight, especially if you won it clean. You destroyed him because I guarantee Daniel Cormier has too much pride and respect for his own soul and his own legacy to do some jokester activity like that. Again, I'm not damnation like any person that does coke, you know, we live in America, people shouldn't be able to tell you what you want to do with your body and what substances you put in your body, but when you're talking about a clean competition where this other dude's competing clean and then you end up taking something that makes you stay up all night and watch film and go practice and think about this and do that, literally you're cheating. That is not allowed. John Jones, you will never be the greatest of all time. And that's not from a hater perspective. I truly believe the GSP is the greatest of all time. You know, watching his junk, his soul, you can see it when he fights. John Jones, all I see is a joke from now on until eternity. You know, try to redeem yourself, but guess what? The marks on your record have already been made. I don't think you are the man. Other people can agree with me. You can say whatever you want. John Jones could beat me up in an alley for all I care, but that's how I feel about it, guys. UFC is being a joke. Again, my boy Matthew getting absolutely screwed over by this and uh john jones you're you're a scrub man way to scrub it up and ruin your reputation even farther so get back at it guys if you think that i'm just being a hater tell me in the comments if you guys think that i'm right leave it in the comments if you guys think that people should be able to do drugs in the ufc leave it in the comments i want to know what you ufc fans think and i want you guys to get back at it so rate comment subscribe guys get back at it peace oh and i have a twitch too so come watch me play video games guys keep it easy